Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Donkey Tries, a series where I take a game I normally wouldn't play and give it a go. We'll uh, play that game for 15 to 30 minutes, and as I go through the game, I'll give you my thoughts and impressions on my gameplay experience. And maybe you will find uh, a game that you may like or not like, and then at the end of the video, we'll talk about it. With that said, let's check out 99 Vitas. I have no earthly in the world what this game is about, except for the fact that there's some type of car on the screen driving. Um, we'll do local and campaign, new campaign, and we'll start with normal. Oh, what is this? This looks like a double dragon type of game. Press punch for your standard attack. Okay, but it's not allowing me to do it. What in the hell? Okay. I'm definitely not playing. So this is like a tutorial of sense and plus press left or right to run. Okay. You know, it'd be nice if it allowed me to try it. So basically it's just telling me and showing me for the tutorial. It's not the way most games do it these days, but okay. That's the cool thing about this series is you get a really good idea what the game is like, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion as I'm playing it. Uh, okay, is there any way we can just skip this shit? Actually, I think I just did. All right. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see the point in that unless you want to sit and watch a tutorial. I really find that the being able to interact is a lot better. Yes, let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Hmm. Ninety-nine. So. I love the little shoes hanging from the uh, the telephone line up there. <laughs> All right, so here comes the first badass. Hey, buddy, is there a repair shop nearby? As we're all standing around with our fists thrown in the air, and there's one by the game store just down the street. But nobody can fucking pass. Alright. Oh yes, look at that belly, man. Things are flopping around like the State Puff Marshmallow Man. So far, pretty cheesy. We got a zoom in over there. One down. Two down. Or not. Get over there. I used to love Double Dragon back in the day. Is he grabbing his stomach or his nuts? I haven't decided which. Oh, we can jump. Is that a tail? The hell is this? Well, now that was actually kind of cool. I don't know. That's probably in the tutorial that I refuse to watch. A little lizard. How you doing? <laughs> Get over there. It's like these guys try to walk around you and do a little sneak attack. Trying, they're trying to flank me. I don't think I've been hit yet. We all need some bananas. What the fuck?
Oh, I finally got knocked down. Maybe if we just spam the kick button. Oh, okay, he's a badass. Wow, okay. This must be a boss guy because he's kicking my ass. Get over there. And the flying punch for the win. I don't think so. Hey, oh, he belly bumped me. Shit. Chubs. That so reminds me of the old Double Dragon games. Those were so fun back in the day. Oh, yes? Oh, yes. Get over here. Okay. Obviously, we can't hit you because you're puking. Hey! Oh, he's not going to let me pick up the bat, you fucker. Oh, my God. And it takes the bat away from me. You get them my ass to kick the. Okay, so you definitely can't stand right in front of that dude. So ultimately, 99 Beat is, is a side scrolling, double dragon esque fighting game. a boss? Can we run? I guess not. Must be the cartel. So it looks like there's only maybe a couple type of combos and then after a while he does maybe a special move of some kind. That was a little different that time. That was interesting. And the belly battle. Boop. See, that was really strange, too. So that's a combo from hitting two buttons together. He's got pimp slot. Bye bye. Come again. What the hell was that? Come again. Oh, look at these mohawk looking fools. Dude has a knife. All right, Mr. Badass. He walks off. Holy crap. Gotta spam that flying kick.
the hell? He's blocking. Block that, bitch! Look at the little the old man looking out of the store over there. What is this? A bottle? guy coming up over here. Kind of croaked there at the end. So a lot of the same different different um, characters. I mean, I applaud them for that aspect of the game. But definitely no boss level yet. Getting pip, pip slapped again and died again. actually dodged that one. <laughs> I spam that flying kick. Or not. So here we go. Looks like first boss fight. So we got to the game store. All right, let's see how we don't do against this guy. Figure we had to make it to at least the first boss, right? Let's get through this text here. Come on. So we shall not pass. Ooh, oh, okay. All right, Super Mario. Italian stuff. Got the, uh, yeah, Mario is Italian. This guy looks, uh, it's the, it's the Cartel Mario version. Eight bits? I got your eight bits. Okay, so hit, his name is Bob. Oh, Bob can drop kick. He looks like a fucking wrestler. What the hell was he doing? And Bob is uh Bob is a pain in my ass. So he helped. Let's take care of some of that real quick. Oh, that didn't do much. So you can't hit him when he's in that phase. And Bob does these drop kicks. So when he's breathing heavy, that's a time to attack. If you can fucking attack him. Oh, wow. Oh, actually, this is a time to attack him right here.
basically making him glitch out. Oh, damn. Well, we may beat him. I don't know. Run! So Bob's getting his ass kicked and he has to call in Mr. Tidy. How about that? <laughs> Come on, get over here. And Bob is down. And Bob is down. Stage clear. Alright, so 8-Bit Bob went to the shitter. Oh, what is this? Oh, so we have an upgrade shop. Well, that's kind of cool to know. So we can upgrade shit. Confirm purchase. So what, what can we upgrade? A few different upgrades. So we can upgrade our fighting. We can upgrade that, that magic skill that we tend to have. Whatever the hell that is. All right. So, interesting. Upgrade health. And again, just like uh, the other game we played, the Nova 111, looks like you have different stages now. You cannot freely, you can't go back. It does not allow that. Um, so basically, you're stuck going forward to the next area. So even though it shows a little map there, you still have to go. So overall, again, a game that I generally wouldn't play. Um, not something that I intend on picking up again, but very cool to play something that gave me that nostalgic feeling of what I played when I was a kid. So, uh, you know... I don't know if this was a free game or a PS Plus game. I honestly couldn't tell you. But if you're interested in that type of game, it is a side-scrolling fight 'em up, uh, double dragon. Again, I'm gonna lose that, use that term loosely, double dragon-ish style of game. You go through the stage, clear out the enemies, get to the end, fight a boss, and then move on to the next stage. Apparently, we have upgrades in this game, so you can upgrade uh, your fighting skills, your health, and your magic. Uh, graphics, I mean, you know, they are what they are. They're, they're the more of that 8-bit that eight, eight style graphics, 16-bit, whatever the hell it was back then. And, yeah, I mean, if you, like I said, you enjoy this, then maybe it's a game for you, but certainly not something I would play in this, this day and age. Um, you know, I just, I don't even think if I was bored, I'd play this game. So, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the, the video. Let me know what you think. If you played the game, your thoughts on it. Uh, until next time, you guys, peace out.